Welcome to That's a Wrap, the channel where I review TV shows, movies, and movie trailers. Today's TV show that I will be reviewing is the Comedy Central original South Park with a Q vaccination special. But before I get into my review, if you are enjoying the content, subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't seen this South Park vaccination special, consider this your spoiler warning. So let's get right into the review. So overall, I enjoyed the episode. Um, I thought the... And I know it's South Park and when they get a chance to do movies or their own specials, they like to throw the the foul language a lot. And, but I thought it was just done over the top. I, I did, if they could have cut it down to maybe the two reporters were the ones that were cussing and kind of sprinkle it around. I mean, it's not, it's not the like 1990s or early 2000s where it has that shock value. I think we're all pretty much accustomed. We all basically speak in in foul language now. It's like embedded in our in our language now, the way we communicate with each other. So it was a little bit over the top, but that's probably the the, the well one of two nitpicks. That is just the overuse of foul language and the when they turned the quote unquote, the whites, it was the family they were making fun and they turned them into like, not to be too graphic because this is going on YouTube, but a phallic shape object that uh, is in the, on the male anatomy. I could have done with all that. And I, and I get the, the joke, but I don't know. I, I just, when I saw that, I was like, wow, they're really, they're really pushing it and they're really going I really, I didn't know what they were going for. Like I said, I get the joke, but it was just too, I don't know. I want to say distasteful, but it's South Park. Um, but anyways, those are really the two. And that's really nitpicking at this episode. I enjoyed it. You have to enjoy South Park for, what is it now? 20 years. So you are familiar with their style of comedy when you go into this. And if you're not into this and, and give it a bad review or talk bad about it, why even watch it? If you're not a fan, if you're not familiar with the, the, the humor, the raunchiness, even with me, just saying those things about some of the drawings that they put and the language kind of doesn't speak well for me, but it was just my nitpick of it. I just don't want to go into something and just, hey, you know, it was awesome. It was great, but it was, I mean, it was a good episode. It was great. I was entertained. I laughed and true. Um, but before I get in there, so I laughed, I enjoyed the episode, but if you're just gonna, if you're not, if you didn't like it before in the normal setting when they're already censored it on Comedy Central, you're definitely not gonna like it because when you watch it, I watched it on HBO Max, so uh, there is no bleeps in this. So you're, you're not gonna enjoy it because it's gonna, it's gonna hit you the wrong way and everything that they do is gonna hit you the wrong way. So I never understand that. I mean, if you don't like something, either don't watch it or go into it with a fresh open mind to be able to judge the work accordingly. But I find that more often than not, once you hate something or dislike something, no matter how many times you watch it or how you understand it, you're going to let your biases get in the middle of this. But anyways, I thought the episode was brilliant. Like true South Park tradition, they take on a, a plethora of cultural issues that were going on. They obviously dealt with the COVID, the vaccines. Um, I mean, it's going to get dated really, really quickly because depending on where you were in the country, I'm assuming they're coming from this from a California standpoint where they had all these weird kind of I don't know. California is weird. The way they've handled the pandemic, the way they've handled the reopening, whether you agree or not. Hey, that that's for another channel, some other outlets to debate. But they're coming from this from a California standpoint, because if you were in other states, 
the vaccines were readily available and teachers were one of the first ones to get it just because depending on that state whether they push for online for for face-to-face -face school schooling for the kids um it was a different experience so depending on where you were in the country and you watched it you're like well that didn't happen here so but they tackled the vaccine the shortages and how you know only the essential workers were getting vaccination and how everyone was feeling backed out they dealt with the trump presidency obviously you have to be familiar with south park to understand that trump in the south park universe is mr garrison and he comes back after the presidency the same way that the president you know you know didn't get reelected. so mr garrison goes back to try to teach and him trying to integrate himself into the south park society was, was just brilliant the way they try to do it he just wants to be go back to a normal life and you could and there was a, a funny line with one of the one of the townspeople are li is looking at him while Mr. Garrison is is shopping. He goes, "Look at him. He he messed up our country, and he's just going about like nothing happened." Uh, that thing that was great. Um, they dealt with the the Q anonym, you know that that the the, the, the whole internet with the Hu movement with Q. I don't really follow all that stuff, but again they took that on also the, the the portrayal of some of the rioters that went and basically went to capitol hill they they, they made a spoof about the epstein the suicide about the elites you know killing kids and drinking their bloods to be immortal and how they're controlling everything and they even poke fun at, at themselves and they just took so much, but I thought it was really, really, really cleverly executed and flowed. It flowed great. And I liked the ending of it when, when they're fighting it out They're you know, obviously the amount well, obviously. if you watched it, our fantastic four, you know, in the beginning, they go in and grab some vaccines or steal some vaccines from Walgreens because Walgreens is the happening place to be. And they steal these vaccines and they they pull a prank on their teacher that doesn't you know go off well and that's how mr garrison gets introduced into the show as far as coming back but they want to get their old teacher back because obviously no one wants or, and and everybody hates mr garrison because of what he did to the country they want to get their teacher back so they you know develop a plan you know go watch the episode you'll get what i'm saying but they develop a plan but what I'm getting to is towards the end, there's a group obviously of anti-vaxxers or people that think this is a conspiracy and there's nanotechnology developed by Bill Gates that they're trying to inject in all of us. Again, whatever, where, wherever you land on that spectrum, hey, more power to you, whatever, you know, that's why it, it makes America beautiful. You can have your own thoughts and, and feelings about whatever. Um, but, up, um, uh, on top of everything that they encompassed in this episode, they had a little end game mantra at the end where they're gonna fight each other. You know, our dynamic, you know, our Fantastic Four are gonna fight some of the townspeople that want the vaccination, but there's anti-vaccine people there. And they're they're going, they have like a little homage, I guess, to Endgame, which is pretty dope. It was funny to me. And it dealt with also the high divorce rate and separation, how the pandemic has forced a good portion of couples and people in marriages to either reevaluate their marriage, to file for divorce, to and and they have a, a funny way how they you know um cartman K kyle and stan are basically gonna divide the time to to be able to share time with kenny and so they, they tackle that in a very humorous way but it does spotlight you know a big a big thing that did happen it did occur uh, divorce rates were were skyrocketing and have been skyrocketing i think since everybody's been on lockdown has been forced to to deal with each other uh and then at the end you know they all get the vaccines because uh mr garrison gets a deal i guess with israel because israel just vaccines everyone or has vaccinated everyone so they get it so then 
since Mr. Garrison, aka Trump in this universe, gets these vaccines, everyone then loves them and then there's they're all celebrating, they're partying, they're not social distancing anymore. In one scene, they're spitting in each other's mouth. So I don't know if that was the great message at the end, like, hey, get your vaccine and get you could you could be reckless and wild, but uh, overall, I thought it was a great, brilliant episode. Like always, they have such a way to to talk about serious issues, but bring some kind of comedic effect that that the laughter that is sometimes uh, the healing medicine that we need to just feel better, to try to move past it, to not be so gloom and doom, because in these times, uh, it, it, it seems like it's getting better um, every day, every month. There's hopeful news coming out. Um, so, yeah, so them having that, you know, dealing with a lot of these tough issues that are so polarizing, that are so, so in your face in, in the news and just in your workplace and just, you know, with friends and family, the difference of opinions, the way it sways back and forth. Uh, so it's good. It's a little bit of levity in a very serious uh, atmosphere that we have. So I appreciated that. And we had the return before I let you guys go. We have the, the, the return of Mr. Han, which was, <laughs> I, I, you know, he's been gone for, I don't know how many years. I mean, I, I mean, probably more than 10 years is the last time we saw Mr. Han. So anyways, I, I recommend it. Go watch it. Now, be prepared for a lot of profanity and, a, and a, lot, a lot of cruel jokes. So if you can't take that, don't watch it. If you've been a fan of South Park, you'll enjoy this. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What did you think about this special? And like always, that's a wrap.